Later, we see this shot of the full neighborhood, and unless it popped up during the episode, I'm pretty sure that means we should see a shot of the neighborhood here, too. But also, who would want to live in SpongeBob's neighborhood? Or Squidward? His oboe playing is absolutely the worst. Just kidding, I know what a bassoon is. <laughs> What a wonderful day. Assuming your day will be wonderful after only inhaling once. Scallops are chirping. Scallops do not, in fact, chirp. Guys, it's SpongeBob. What do you want from me here? Overenthusiastic and excessively unnecessary repetition with your tool. Wait. I can't work with all that racket going on. Especially when SpongeNob jerk pants is needlessly making his work more difficult. Who tries to build a structure on top of their supplies? Assuming the saxophone has been underwater for some time, where is the air being blown from the instrument coming from? Is Squidward breathing water and storing up the air to then push through an instrument that needs air to make it sound? Is Squidward the most advanced underwater creature to exist, having somehow evolved to fulfill the purpose of musical creation? Why is none of this explained? Patrick's roof would absolutely collapse his lamp and chair, and someone clearly hasn't been paying attention to modern housing design trends. What, do you live under a rock? <laughs> This ant eater mouth farts on for some time. <laughs> Starfish do not have lungs. There, I said it. Capitalism. SpongeBob is not this clever or this much of a businessman, but the show still gets laughs from me on nearly every episode. So for this reason, I will give a sin while simultaneously taking one away. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Well, moving on. Double take three times. One, two, three. Those are not double takes. That's three single takes, or at my most generous, a single triple take. So take this. And pelvic thrust! <laughs> Unless SpongeBob's pelvis is in his face, this is also not a pelvic thrust. I'm beginning to believe Bob's big bubble blowing business is basically bullshit. Wow. Apparently SpongeBob was even more abstract and non sequitur when it started, somehow. Which means I'll have to add another sin for this episode, but take a sin off in all the other SpongeBob videos we've done. Which I totally just did. Seriously, go watch all the other SpongeBob sins vids. I totally took off a sin, and this is in no way a manipulative way to drive up views. Fair warning though, the sin only disappears after the 420th consecutive watch. See, that's on Squidward for not having window panes. How can you two possibly make all this noise just blowing bubbles? Come on, Squidward, it's a cartoon. Quit taking the underwater physics and acoustics so literally. You're ruining television, f***ing Squidward. That's not art. That's just annoying. NFTs. What do you suppose this shiny quarter is made of? Is it US currency that has fallen below the surface and somehow adopted into the undersea lifestyle of the bikini bottom dwellers? <laughs> Eructile dysfunction. Technique, technique. Technique, technique, technique. I swear, if you took out all the repeating in this episode, it'd be less than 10 seconds long. But also, if you took out all the repeating in this episode, it would be 10 seconds long. We have windows. We have no windows. Squid word, squid word, squid word. For the next full minute, these two will say the squid word 49 times each. And as much as I'd love to do a bonus round, I just don't have the energy to withstand it again. So I'll just put the 98 cents on credit. Forget understanding anything about how this rage bubble works. Yep, seems like the best place to run for safety as a massive house falls from above would be the houses directly below where the house is falling. This episode is 78% bubble making, 13% pan flute playing, and 9% explosions happening. So in each and every way, this episode blows. I'm some kind of bubble boy. What are you building for him now? A uh, rocket ship? And now for some soothing sounds from Squidward's clarinet. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Conrad, you, my friend, are being audited. But only two little ducks came back. <laughs> Who are you? What'll I do? What'll I do? What an unusual view! <laughs>